So I'm going to show you how to use your curling barrels on your Dyson Airwrap. The good news is it's going to be the same technique whether it's the 30mm small barrels that you're using or the 40mm large barrels. It doesn't matter which direction either, it's still going to be the same steps that you follow. So firstly I'll show you what to do on your air wrap. You're going to make sure it's on the highest airflow settings for curling. I'm going to use the highest temperature as well for my hair texture. You can vary that depending on the hair type that you have. So once you've powered it on here with your middle button, you're going to allow the hair to dry around the curling barrel and when you feel like it's dry and finished just slide up the button and hold it for a few seconds to give it a little burst of cold air that's going to help with style retention we always recommend to do the curls on damp hair to help with style retention as well so blast it off to about 70 percent dry or dampen it down using a water spray okay so i'm going to show you now how to do the curl so just pinch the hair a few inches from the ends, leaving the ends loose. You're going to bring the curling barrel right over beside your ends towards the end of the barrel. If you bring it to the top, your curl will just slide off. So once it's latched onto the end of the barrel, you can let go and just move the device closer to the head. You don't need to twist it or rotate it. So I'm going to show you now. So you can see I just set it there with a little bit of cold air at the end and there you go. So if you have any more questions on this you can visit Dyson.e to live video chat with one of our experts or you can leave a comment below this video with any other demonstrations that you'd like to see.